Hey, how's it going guys? This is gonna be a real quick video showing you how to get your mouse and keyboard up and running with the Cronus Zen on your PC. So I've got a couple of different pieces of hardware. I'm using a Sabrent USB hub. Uh, this is completely optional. I just use this because it has these buttons that prevent me from having to plug and unplug my Zen constantly. I keep it mounted on the front of my desk here, so anything I need to plug and unplug from the PC, I can simply tap one of these buttons. The next piece of hardware I've got, which I would really recommend, is a Sabrent USB switch. What this thing does is I've got four ports in the back that I can plug anything I want into, whether it's mouse, keyboard, printers, whatever. I mean, obviously a printer is not gonna work for Zen, but the back also has four ports, so I can then keep my mouse and keyboard connected to the Zen, which is where it's connected right now, and my PC at the same time. And to toggle between them, all I've gotta do is tap this button, and my mouse and keyboard go from controlling my PC to the Zen that fast. All right, so let's go ahead and get our mouse and keyboard settings set up. So you'll need to connect your Zen to the PC using the mini USB port on the side of the unit. Mine's already connected, again, to my Sabrent USB hub. So I'll simply tap this button, and as you can see, it connects for me. Once your Zen is connected to the PC, you'll need to go over to the plugins tab, and you'll need to go into your mouse and keyboard settings. This is where you'll find all of your button mappings and the settings that control how the mouse emulates the thumbstick so that you can get a really nice feel in game. So I'll go ahead and start off by showing you how to map your keyboard keys. Uh, all of these correspond to a controller button because the Cronus Zen will always output as a controller signal. So if you're playing on PC, Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation, any of those platforms, the Zen will always output as a controller. That's just how the device works. So for example, if I want D-pad right or D-pad up, you just double click it with your mouse and now it's listening for a keyboard key. I like to use the up arrow. After pressing the key, as you can see, my up arrow is now mapped to D-pad up. You'll do this for all of the controller buttons that you want to map to your keyboard keys. And then you can flip over to the mouse tab and do the exact same thing except you'll click your mouse buttons. So where R2 and L2 are, this is generally your fire and aim down sights. So you can simply double click the mapping and then click the button on your mouse that you want to activate that controller button. Next, you'll need to match all of your mouse settings to how I have them here. These are my Call of Duty Warzone settings, so these will probably feel a little bit wonky if you try to use them on a different game, but it's very important that you match all of these settings exactly how I have them here if you're playing Call of Duty Warzone. For your mouse settings, I'm using 10,000 DPI and I'm using 1000 Hertz for my polling rate because I'm playing on PC. If you're playing on console, you'll need to use 250 Hertz but these exact same mouse settings will work on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you're playing on. The sensitivity slider here, this will be the only thing you should need to adjust in these settings, and that basically just controls how sensitive your mouse is whenever you're playing. So if it's too slow, you'll raise this up. If it's too fast, you'll drop this down. Once you have everything set how you need it to be, you can go ahead and click this little check mark here to finalize the layout. And what this does is it saves the layout onto the Zen. So anytime you plug your mouse and keyboard in, these are the settings that'll be loaded up and you're good to go. If you go into the programmer tab, this is where we have all of our game packs, GPC scripts, etc. Um, we have a game pack library tab where you can browse scripts by regular members. So if you want to use a game pack or a script with your device, you'll simply drag it in, into one of these slots and use it just as you would with a normal controller. Once you've got everything set up on the Zen how you want, you'll need to disconnect the programming cable and then using the micro USB port in the back of your Zen here, you'll connect it to your PC so that your Zen is now sending controller signal to your PC. Again, this port on the side is only for programming. So I'm going to disconnect my programming port, walk over to the PC, and plug in my controller cable. All right, now that the Zen is booted up, my mouse and keyboard are no longer controlling the PC because the Zen has fired up and my USB switch has seen a new connection and has automatically flipped my mouse and keyboard 
to controlling the Zen. A lot of people are saying that when they use the Zen, their mouse and keyboard no longer control the PC. This is simply because the Zen is outputting as controller signals. And all of this ties back to why I like the Sabrent USB switch. All I have to do is tap this button here. And now my mouse and keyboard are back to controlling my PC so I can launch the game. All right, so once your game's loaded, you'll need to go down here into the options menu. You'll need to go into your controller tab and you'll need to match your dead zone, your look sensitivity, and your ADS sensitivity multiplier exactly how I have them here. If you don't do this, your mouse will feel really, really weird. Um, you need the maximum sensitivity set so that there's zero interference with your thumbstick movement so that there's no smoothing, extra acceleration, or any of that type of stuff going on. And you will need to switch your aim response curve to linear. This is really important because if you use a different aim response curve, all of the mouse settings that we've set in Zen Studio will feel like garbage because they're meant to be played with a linear aim response curve. All right, and then the last thing we need to do so that we can play the game, I'm getting a whole lot of reports of people saying that they can control everything in the menus here, but once they get into the game, they're unable to move or look around. So you'll need to go over to the general tab, your input device, you need to flip that over to controller. Again, because the Zen only outputs as controller signal, so if the game is not looking for a controller, none of your inputs will be sent through because they're connected to the Zen and the Zen is being ignored by the game. So before you're ready to play, you'll need to use your USB switch to flip your input over to control the Zen. And as you can see, your mouse and keyboard now work in game. Let me get my, my hand over here. As you can see, the mouse movement is really precise. It's really smooth. You're able to fine tune everything and it feels really close to how it does native on the PC. I really hope this video has helped y'all out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, please like this video if it's helped you and please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to view more of my videos.